10 Reasons Why You Don't Achieve Your Goals Albert Hubert, an American writer, publisher, and artist, said, and I quote, Many people fail in life not for lack of ability or brains or even courage, but simply because they have never organized their energies around a goal. Setting a goal is in all there is to achieve it. It's only the first step. So, just because you set for yourself a bunch of goals doesn't mean you are one step away from success. If anything, you are only one step into success. CJ Job, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst who founded Analytical Psychology once said, and I quote, you are what you do, not what you say you'll do. Most of the time, when we initially set our goals, say at the beginning of the year, our hopes are high and we are usually enthusiastic about it. However, halfway down the line, we are tired, our motivation dwindles, old habits creep in and we want to just throw everything all out. Pretty frustrating, I know. On the other hand, some people manage to pass through those rough times and eventually actualize their goals. What's the difference? It's simple. They didn't allow old habits to creep in, which is why they succeed eventually. Anyways, in this video, I'll share with you 10 reasons why you don't achieve your goals. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. Your goals are vague. When you set undefined goals, you'll likely get overwhelmed and give up the entire process before you even get a chance to start. For instance, consider these two goals and choose which one is more specific and defined. A. I want to lose 10 kg fat before the end of the year. B. I'll get a healthy meal plan, eat healthily and exercise 5 days a week between now and the next 24 weeks to lose 10 kg before the year runs out. Now, which of both goals sounds specific? and which sounds vague. Do they have the same aim? Of course they do. They both want to lose 10 kilograms fat. However, one goal is more defined than the other. You see, when setting a goal, follow the SMART goal rule to achieve your desired result. S. Specific M. Measurable A. Achievable R. Realistic T. Time Deadline 2. You're not taking responsibility no doubt, certain things are expected to go wrong along the way because it is a new journey that you haven't experienced before. So when something comes up and you don't achieve your goals, who do you blame? Do you blame the weather for not allowing you to step out or go to the gym? Or do you blame your lecturer who kept you in class for so long you couldn't find time to read and study for your test? Who do you blame? Until you learn how to take responsibility for everything that concerns you and your goals, you may never achieve them. 3. You procrastinate a lot Charles Dickens, an English writer and social critic, said, My advice is to never do tomorrow what you can do today. Procrastination is the thief of time. Even if you have a smart goal, if you don't learn to stop procrastinating, you'll never achieve your goals because whether you like it or not, you cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Abraham Lincoln 4. You are not committed or consistent. Achieving any set of goals takes commitment and consistency. Successful people are 100% committed to their dreams. They'll do anything it takes to achieve it, while unsuccessful people, on the other hand, will only do what is convenient. According to Vince Lombardi, most people fail not because of a lack of desire but because of a lack of commitment. So, if you want to be successful, you have to raise the bar and choose to be consistent with the plans you have put in place to achieve your goals. 5. You're trying to do it all yourself. Just because it's your dream and your goals doesn't mean that you should do it all by yourself. You are allowed to seek help, seek professional advice and support. You can get someone to do certain minor tasks while you focus on the important stuff that needs your consistent attention. 6. You're starting too many projects at once. Sometimes, either for fear of missing out or for the sake of being perceived as an idle man, people often start too many projects at once. Maybe that's not such a bad thing, but the problem is that, when you do that, you're likely going to abandon all the projects at some point. Instead, take it one at a time, focus on it, put in all the hard work and expect a positive result. 7. You're surrounding yourself with people who haven't achieved their goals as well. You are who you associate with. jean Rule Philip said, Surround yourself with people that want more out of life, that won't settle for average, people that you can connect with on a deeper level, 
Keep your circle fresh. Keep your circle full of quality rather than quantity, full of cool humans that you can be yourself around. People that fill you up with nothing but love. People that want to see you succeed. People that get it. Good circle, the good life. When you surround yourself with people who know how to achieve their goals, you'll soon learn how they do it and achieve yours. Eight, you give too many excuses. Jordan Belfort, an American author, motivational speaker, and former stockbroker once said, the only thing standing between you and your goal is the bullshit story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. People who constantly give excuses for not achieving their goals never achieve them eventually. For instance, they say the economy is tough, the competition is high, and they don't have resources to start a project. 9. You don't know how to handle failure, hence you give up easily. You need to understand that failures are feedback, not the end of the road. They are lessons to show you the right path. C.S. Lewis, a British writer and lay theologian said, and I quote, Failures, repeated failures, are finger posts on the road to achievement. One fails forward towards success. Also according to Colin Powell, there are no secrets to success. It is the result of preparation, hard work, and learning from failure. When you try something that it does not work, the solution isn't giving up and jumping into something else, but to figure out why it didn't work and change your strategy, not the entire goal. 10. You watch too much TV instead of developing yourself. You have to put in the work necessary for success. Action produces results. So if you want results, you must take action. Don't sit on the couch all day in front of your screen getting entertained and then hoping that with an hour or two of work, you'll automatically achieve your goals. You need to ditch the TV and focus on developing yourself. Now, can you figure out why you haven't been able to achieve your goals? I'm sure you can. It's time to change. Take one step at a time until you start getting the results you want to. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.